Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> School safety rolling down, LYPD. So Alyssa told me she got to school after nine o'clock. On top of that, her mother did not give her any mask to wear. Come on, come on the other side. Her mother, her mother did not give her any mask to wear. Arson and all that. Right? Yeah. Her mother did not give her any mask to wear this morning. And and she left Ethan home. Okay? So yeah, you know, I think she's deliberately doing this because she told me one at one point we were having an argument and I told her, I said, you know, you keep uh, bringing this, these kids to school late and have them miss their class and they fail it. I told her, I said, Child Protective Service is going to come knocking at your door. She was like, let them come and take them. That's what she said. Okay? And then she told me about how she, oh, she regret having kids. But yet she's on the phone with her friends talking about how she loves her kids and this and that. And this is, I think she's just doing this shit deliberately. Doing it deliberately. Because I feel that she wanted them to come take her, take our kids. Or she wanted to send them to Texas to live with her grandma. But she knows that's not going to happen. Because her mother is not ready to take her kids. Or maybe she sent them to her brother. I don't know. Maybe. You know? But yeah. This is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And this, a lot of black women are like this. And they are being manipulated and conditioned to be in this way. This is why you see failure within the black community when you have... Uh, single parent mothers raising children. They rather have, they rather put their fun over the education and safety of their own children. And guess what? They learned it from their mothers. They learned it from their mothers who behave in the same manner. Okay, this is where they learn it from. Oh, yeah, smile, girl, smile. I know. I don't give a fuck. Whatever y'all want to do. Right? So yeah, so this is this is what they do. Okay? This is what they do. And people, particularly all other women in the black community, don't want to hold them accountable. They don't want to hold them accountable. And they will always blame men for their choices, for their behavior. And because the politicians lie to them, because the politicians tell them they're the backbone of the black community and all this bullshit about how they're the most educated, which is all lies. They are not the most educated, all lies. They're not the, 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 the number one in terms of uh, entrepreneurship, is all lies. It's all lies, they keep feeding them. And they walk around here, you know, with this attitude that, oh, they're better than us as black men. And yet they can't even see the division that's going on. They cannot see the division. So who suffers but the kids, right? And they grew up to follow along in the same program and do the same thing, okay? We have been conditioned with the self-centeredness, the selfishness. No one is willing to make any sacrifices for the younger generation, because they're all about themselves, okay? And that's why we don't get, go nowhere as black people. And on top of that, because they have them doing this shit, targeting people, Right, while the devils sit around watching, and they're devils, that's what they are. They sit around watching, and that's where they come, they gentrify the, 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 the neighborhood and kicking their black ass out. But they're stupid, that's what they are. All right, they are, they are stupid. Okay, they have, they don't even understand, they have no idea, they have no idea. But they let these dumbasses tell them what to do, but they're sheep, that's what they are. They, they're glad to call themselves sheep too. They are so glad to call themselves sheep. I have to tell you how stupid they are. And about their flocks. They call each other flocks. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what's happening in our community. This is what's happening in our community. In the community that we live in. You know, us black people.